at uh, Bolts85. Just one more question. I would ask, what are the target demogra market demographics for Splinterlands? I would really say people in already in Web3. I personally do not think we should be going after anybody that is currently playing a Web2 TCG because we are not a traditional TCG. In fact, this is like very much like an auto battler. So we should not be going after people who play Hearthstone or Magic the Gathering. If anything, and I've never played this, so please correct me if I'm wrong, we should be going after people who play Marvel Snap, right? Because I've heard a lot of comparisons to something like Marvel Snap um, or any other auto battler out there. That's if we want to go after a Web2 audience. I think going after a Web2 audience is an absolute waste of time. Okay, uh, let's not speak in absolutes. I think it's a waste of time. I think it would be much better to go after people who are already in the crypto ecosystem and more specifically in the crypto gaming ecosystem. Now, you're going to get a lot of gaming purists, people that want to see a positive kind of like, you know, or like a really polished, well-made game. And, you know, this compared to Parallel or Alluvium or you know, big time, it's not going to be on that level, but they already have the understanding of crypto. They're, they're already like crypto adjacent or crypto native. And on top of that, they will hopefully maybe have certain appreciations for DeFi. And that is the competitive advantage and the differentiating factor for Splinterlands. And so if you can get people to understand that, Hey, there's a lot of opportunity in the ecosystem from land as a DeFi platform, from literally, you know, Splinterlands as being a DeFi platform with all the liquidity pools and things like that. Uh, I think you can join a lot of folks who may come to check out the game, may or may not love it, right? I mean, all of us love it, but some people just don't. Uh, but you might get some folks who may have never checked out the game before, may have never given it a shot. But if you bring them here on the crypto, on the DeFi kind of like platforms, I think they'll stick around. I think, sorry, not they all won't stick around, but I think you'll get a significant amount that stick around. So I would not spend any more time trying to get, you know, someone, and, and this is no shade to Ali Strauza. That was a cool partnership to land, but I think that was a complete wrong demographic. I think she's in the perfect place right now doing parallel because parallel is literally the web three parallel. Yes. Pun intended for Hearthstone, which is she, she's a major influencer for. So, we are not like Parallel or Hearthstone. We need to be something else. We offer something else. There's a competitive advantage there. And I think the people who would understand what that competitive advantage would be would be people who are already crypto native or adjacent. They understand DeFi and they like the idea of gaming. Uh, and they're not like, you know, there's someone gaming agnostic. Maybe they don't need to have like a specific game type. Um, that would be the target demographic, in my opinion, that we should be going after where you find them i think that's a little bit more difficult of a question to answer but the places that i would start are in the communities of games that are already out there web3 games that are already out there so this is something that we should be trying to do more outreach to and maybe some partnerships and collaborations with well-established games like imagine if they were to reach out to you know someone like alluvium i, I don't know where the, the marketing departments for those companies are maybe they wouldn't think that it's worth their time but uh, you know, if you were to partner with a another game, or as the team had talked about previously, partnering with other NFT-based communities, right? Profile-based, based, based uh, sorry, PFP NFT communities, which is something that you know Rooney didn't really take off. Uh, but I think that they're sorry, Rooney did not take off with the broader crypto and NFT marketplace and community. But if you were to pull in. Maybe Bored Apes is too high, but, but some of these other smaller communities, they would look and see like, hey, my NFT that I own just got, you know, additional utility for it. And as a flex, they would flaunt it. Even if they didn't want to play the game, they would flaunt it because it's just like, hey, my NFT has more utility than yours. Because if I wanted to, if I wanted to, I could play it in this game. And guess what? When they name drop Splinterlands, that's that's marketing right there, right? That's word of mouth marketing. Uh, and that's very, very difficult to pay for. So these partnerships and collaborations should be happening with other Web3 communities. And I hope that once the new player experience is finished, or at least at a point where the team is ready to go, they'll be able to start targeting those and actually doing things like that, whether it's on Ethereum, Solana, Polygon, Avalanche, whatever it is, I hope that they can take that step. All right, give me another second.